back to my channel. So today I'm going to be making hibachi at home. I woke up this morning and I seen it on my timeline and I said I had to have it. So um, I'm going to be walking you through my version of the hibachi at home. Um, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And if you've been here before, welcome back and thank you. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, first I'm going to start with cutting up all my veggies. I've washed everything and I have found that to cut up green onion, it is the easiest to use scissors. It actually, take a little bit more of that off. It actually goes by faster. And that's just my opinion. And the green onion is going to be for the rice. So, I'll cut it right up into this bowl. You probably could get smaller pieces if you went slower, but or used a knife. Thank you. Got your green onion. Next, I'm gonna do the green peppers. Most of the time when you go, um, you'll probably get like zucchini or something like that, but I decided to do something different. These people got allergies around here. <laughs> so I'm just gonna make them in the kind of bigger chunks because these will just be sauteed on the side. I'm going to move on. My mushrooms. I decided to get whole mushrooms because I wanted them to be in bigger chunks than, instead of uh, I wanted I don't know how to explain it. I kind of wanted them in chunks instead of slices. So I'm just gonna cut them into fours like that. And yes, I've washed everything before I started. Wash my hands. I hope everybody is at home being safe, making sure they're cleaning and sanitizing everything and washing their hands, wearing masks and gloves when you guys go out. And, and it looks like we will be like this for a while, y'all. But the sooner we all listen and stay home, the sooner we can get back to regular shit. We about to miss out on summer. I guess people don't want to stay home and listen. Yeah, the memes. Yeah. The memes have been funny. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you said at first. <laughs> I was just like, what? I'm 
<laughs> no, no, not this. Not this time. Okay. So now I'm gonna cut up the onion. Some of the onion will actually go into the rice and some of the onion will be with the veggies. So. And this will go with the peppers and mushrooms. I feel like I should do a little bit more for So next I'm going to uh, I couldn't find any chicken breast, which that would have been perfect for this. But um, I got some chicken tenderloins that I'm gonna, I've already cleaned and I'm gonna cut those up to saute. Oh. Don't judge me. I don't like the way the meat feels, so yes, I have gloves. So I'm just gonna cut the chicken up in chunks again. It's easy to do when you have scissors. Makes it go by way faster. I don't like Now we're gonna start with the vegetables. I like to start with the peppers because some I feel like they take longer to cook down opposed to the onion. And I just put a little bit of uh, vegetable oil in there. While the vegetables are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the chicken. Garlic, regular pepper, and I'm sure when you go to the hibachi, they probably just use salt and pepper, but that's the best part about doing this at home. <laughs> you can do what you want. And oh, I'm sorry, I don't know about straw, but I like to use obe. I understand it's just a seafood seasoning or that's what it's supposed to be, but let me tell you, it goes on more than just two. So I went ahead and added the mushrooms and onions to the peppers. You're gonna let that cook down to your onions can loosen. Maybe even with a little bit of a grill to it. And then your mushrooms will get soft and cooked down. And then by then your peppers should be perfect. Excuse the extra little hands, y'all. 
because I'll be washing my hands. I'm just gonna let that cook and get soft. Okay, so now the vegetables are done and you can just take those off and set them to the side. So now it looks like the chicken is just about done. I want to get it a little bit more brown on all of it. And then we can start with the rice as well as the shrimp. So I'll let that go just for a little bit longer. And then I'll take it off. Just to get a little bit more brown. I like it to kind of have like a grill to it. But next we'll move on to the shrimp. I'm going to start the shrimp now. They have already been cleaned and peeled and deveined. It does still have the tail on it though. And that's just a little bit of oil, vegetable oil in your pan. Gonna season them with a little lemon pepper, some regular pepper, some Jose. and then a little garlic powder. How about that? for a little bit. Now I'm gonna flip the shrimp over. Okay, starting to turn pink and get firm. So now we're going to start working on the fried rice. We're going to start with the onion. And I'll let your onion put down because once you put the rice in there, it's really just kind of warming it up and uh, adding your soy sauce. Now that the onions are cooked down, um, I pre made the rice and I let it cool. Right. 
and you just mix it in with your onion. You can add in your fried egg. Excuse the pan. I just did that like real quick. It burnt it a little bit. But it's okay. Still a good scrambled egg. Okay, I also made some garlic butter, which is literally just garlic butter. I think I put a little bit of pepper in here. I want to pour it, but I want to get the garlic from the bottom. Mix that in there. Now you add your soy sauce to give it that brown fried rice color. And I'm actually using light soy so you don't have all that salt. And stir it up. Some people like to add uh, peas and carrots and stuff like that to it. Ouch. Wow, that was hot. Which, you could do that also. I've tried that that way before. But for the most part... Oh, can you give me the green onion, please? I also have green onion. Kind of just give it color. Just mix those in. A little bit of those. Since I didn't use peas or anything like that. And there you have garlic fried rice. So now that everything is done, you have your homemade hibachi. And you have your veggies, your rice. your shrimp and your chicken over there and you're all done so now you can enjoy so I'm about to go and enjoy my food and I hope you guys are all staying safe staying home and tune in there may be a monkey I don't know thank you